In this lecture, I'd like to take a moment and discuss some of the common timer problems and mistakes that you're likely to make or see out in the field. There's several problems that these digital timers tend to lend themselves to. But first off, I wanted to talk about the most prevalent problem that I've encountered, and that's multiple start times. When you set an irrigation timer up, you're basically putting everything together in a program. A program contains instructions on when to start up, how long to run, each individual zone that is, and what days that we want this to run. But the problem is, is that with the start times, a lot of people will think that you need an individual start time for each individual zone. Now there's only one major timer that I know of in the market, and that's a Rainbird timer that was probably produced just for this reason, but almost all the other timers that you're going to encounter basically are wanting you to set one start time to run each cycle as it goes through. Now probably the second biggest problem that I see out there has to do with the current date and time. If the timer doesn't know correctly what date and time it is, you can't expect anything else that you've asked it to do to come out the way that you want it. If you want the timer to run at 5 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but yet the timer doesn't know that it's Friday at 12 o'clock now, it thinks it's Monday at 11 p.m., then you're going to have a real problem. You're going to get a call back because your system is coming on at a time that's not expected by the homeowner. And so each individual timer is going to have some small idiosyncrasies that vary from other timers. And I would suggest that as you become familiar with the market that you're working in and you discover that there are certain timers that were preferred by certain contractors that installed a lot of the systems, you're going to want to start building a library of instructional manuals on all of these different timers whether it's a, a printed version that you keep in the truck or maybe you can find a PDF version online to keep on your smartphone so that when you get out in a jam you can look it up real quick and figure out what you're doing wrong. I did that for many years but in fact still for some of the trickier timers I still have a, a banker's box full of instruction manuals in my truck that I carry around at all times.